What is up you guys? Welcome back to the Colorado Brap channel. My name's Adam and thank you for taking a ride with me today. We're coming at you from Rampart Range and the trail we're riding today is actually a little bit longer one. It's trail number 627 and it runs north to south right along Rampart Range Road. It's actually so long that we're going to bring this video to you in two parts so I hope you'll go check out the second part when that's up. There will be a link to it up in the upper right hand corner. But without further ado, let's get into it with 627 in Rampart Range. Oh, this dirt's nice though. We are back at Rampart once again. And uh, today we're going to learn what it would be like to dirt bike in Silent Hill, apparently. I think they have a poker run coming up. So you might see some markings on some trees and stuff. I said we're riding trail 627 this is like a green trail out of the north oh this is fun uh, out of the north parking lot pretty easy trail but quite heavily trafficked <laughs> um, so the weather's quite weird today, right? It's uh, it's very foggy, kind of rainy, a little cold. As you can see, I'm wearing a, a waterproof jacket today. Um, yeah not gonna be the best or most fun video but honestly perfect day to do this particular trail so this one runs basically north south right along the road you're gonna see I may actually have to pop out on the road here in a sec I, uh, I ride with a Garmin inReach and I forgot to turn it on and start tracking. Simply because cell service is spotty out here. It's not the worst. It's definitely not like if you're riding high country or something. But, you know, it can be hard. Like if I were to fall down out here on this trail, even one by the road, I might have cell signal to, to make a call, probably would, uh, but just knowing that I've got the satellite, even on a day like today, is pretty nice. So I usually track with that, highly recommend it, that one or even if you really just want to do SOS stuff, the spots are supposed to be pretty good. I like that I can use it to pre-send. See, I really like uh, the Garmin because I can send my wife my location, but I can also send her some pre-recorded text messages. I've got like starting slash stopping. Um, I've got like uh, mechanical failure. 
send uh, send help um, or I think my start slash stop is like everything's okay as well uh, mechanical failure and then I've got like a medical non-emergency one where like if I like broke my hand or something I just couldn't ride out but it works great well, you may hear a, uh, a bit of me sniffling today, and I apologize in advance. It is a bit cold out here today. Although now that I'm riding, it is not all that cold. Oh. Overgrown branch there, sorry. Sorry for that. So definitely with this 627, which I think turns into 690 maybe, if it's your first time at Rampart, it's a really good one. But I would encourage you to hit it kind of early morning because, like I said, it can get quite heavily trafficked. And there's a lot of blind corners here. So you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled. Uh, this way for 627. I think that way just goes back to a camping spot. While this is a trail, you're going to find plenty of spots like this. Sit down, take a break. It's not very tough. Learn to learn to sit down and get up real quick and everything and end up riding for a lot longer and having a lot more fun. Now in my other videos I mentioned that part of me doing this series is to ride stuff I've never ridden before. But one of the things I've done is save the things I have ridden before for days like this when I don't expect there to be that many people. I think the 3 p.m. thunderstorms are scaring a lot of people off. And uh, for most people, it's just not that nice. Now, as we know, dirt bikers, dual sport riders, kind of a different breed a little bit. And uh, I don't know about you, I'm loving this weather. You just gotta be prepared, right? As with all good things, it ain't easy, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. If this is your first video, uh, like I said in the intro, my name's Adam. I live out in Colorado. Absolutely love it here. Uh, 
riding a 2015 KTM 500 XCW. Been dirt biking for oh, four or five years now. First ever dirt bike dual sport I got was a uh, 2007 DRZ 400S. Great bike. If you ever want to just get something to go out and, and ride to the trail, ride the trail all day, not worry about it, put it away wet, forget about the maintenance for a couple months, DRZ is your boy. Now if you have something like a DR650 in mind for if you have to do any highway, um, if you do any highway at all, 100% grab a DR650, grab a CRF300L, um, I feel like with, with the, the CRF300L, just kind of feel like maybe a lot of people kind of run up against the limits of the suspension pretty quickly. Oh my. And that's why you stay to the right. And that's why I go slow, especially on this trail. Please, please, please do not be ripping on this trail. There are kids that ride it. There's quads that ride it. I've seen obviously just one other, actually I saw two dirt bikers pulled over to turn on my Garmin and one went by, luckily. But, you know, this trail especially, it's a green trail. It's not made for ripping. There's other trails here where there's usually not very many people or they're kind of back a ways and you can see for a long ways. Those might be better suited towards people that want to rip it or just come on a weekday, honestly. Um, weekdays, Rampart is not super crowded, you might have some people, probably would look like this, right? But, today is not that day. Now, as I was saying, people run up against the limits of the CRF suspension, you can revalve it and everything, and, and apparently, I could watch Jake the Garden Snake build out his, and, uh, it looks awesome, you know. I'm sure I would be nowhere near the limit of that bike. But I've been riding for quite a while now. Been riding since I was like 18 or 19. I'm 31 now, I think, so, you know. Been riding for a bit, but only started on the street a couple years ago. I started on the dirt, sorry. It was 100% street back in the day. Did the whole sport bike thing, naked bike thing. And then I got my DRZ. And I said sayonara to the street. And uh, I've never been happier to just get up and ride. Even on the street, this bike is so much fun. A little off camper turn there. The dirt today is actually surprisingly loose for how much moisture is in the air. I'm kind of surprised. But I guess I shouldn't be, it is Rampart. We're in Colorado. That's what happens. <laughs> Alright. Oh, 
Oh, it's much better. Okay. Sorry about that, I had to pull over real quick. Oh, let's see here, nobody coming. a uh, base layer on like a skiing base layer because I was like oh it's you know 55 degrees out no sun probably could use a little bit of heat retention and uh, we're not very far into this trail and I was already overheat so pulled over took that off threw it in the backpack and uh, opened up all the vents on my jacket It is a waterproof jacket, but uh, with the vents open, it breathes pretty well on the important parts, right? A couple on your chest, uh, and some on your arms, which in my opinion is pretty important. This is super cool. In here, hey, look, it's the road again. And you know, this is a great part, right? I'm gonna pull over here and just talk about it real quick. Is if you hop on this trail, uh, up at the parking lot and you get tired or or anything like that. Like, look how close we are, you know? It, it just pops in and out of the road. We'll go back into the woods for a minute here in a second. And you just kind of go back and forth. It's it's really fantastic. It's, um, it's a great trail if you're bringing kids. If you are kind of new to riding, if you're on a bigger bike. You know, first time I rode this, I was on a 690, and it was great. Very burmy. You can just kind of play with it. You can stay in the middle if you want. I actually think I know where we are, which is nice. Because I think I did this trail in another video. Yet to come. At least the one coming up. So we really just need to watch for 627 slash 690. I think it's this way. That looks like something. I was on a 690 before this 500 and there's a lot of fun on these trails. Uh, you know, I think we just stay near the road or as near the road as we can. And I'm gonna assume it's just this way. Um, the 690 was great, but you wanted to do anything more technical than this obviously it can be done right um, there's people that ride the snot out of the 690 it used to be a um, used to be a Baja racing bike and then Baja went to the 450 and lower Being in Baja, those whoops are fun. <laughs> Nothing like Baja, I'm sure, and not for, you know, I've heard it's just hours of that in some spots. Whoops, five feet deep, trying to run them at race pace. And the crazy part is, I don't even know what race pace is like. I just ride trails for fun, baby.
beautiful out here. It smells crisp. on the road. Just needed a little bit of water real quick. So, as I was talking about a second ago, the 690, fantastic motorcycle. Highly recommend it if you're doing any sort of dual sport or ADV riding. If you're looking for a step up from the DRZ um, or DR650, something with a bit more power, it's great. Fun little jump there off the roots. Um, it's a fantastic bike, but it wasn't fantastic for the type of riding that I want to do. And it definitely didn't feel like my DRZ when you're on the trails. It is a bit heavier, the gas tank's in the rear, which is really fun for like sliding it around, right? Uh, but once you get into anything more technical, um, trying to pick it up is way harder than the DRZ was. There's nowhere really good to grab onto. I had to put the grab rails back on and take my top rack off. Anytime I wanted to do more of a technical ride, which was a pain. Once I got some rackless luggage, it was less of a pain. But overall, my DRZ uh, just left me wanting more DRZ. Coming up on some pit bikes here. Man, those would be fun on this. Little pit bikes are so much fun. Give them some space though. Thanks guys, have a good one. Yeah, I don't want to blaze through this trail or anything. This video is getting a little long, but you know, that's all right. Maybe we'll break it into two sections. We are on 690 now, so 627 turns into 690. I'm not exactly sure how it works. They kind of go in and out. Oh, someone's got a fire going and it smells good.
which is great because this year in Colorado we I don't think have a fire ban but don't quote me on that always check uh, always check your local listings for fire bans don't come out here and start a wildfire uh, you might get put in jail like some people that burned down a couple thousand acres up by Netherland in Boulder um, yeah hit with huge fines I will find the link to check Colorado fire bans I'll put it down below Trailhead, actually, I know where we are. All right, everybody, that is the end of part one of Trail 627. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks again for coming on a ride with me today. Be sure to come back for part two. And once again, my name is Adam. This is the Colorado Brap Channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.